Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert, and this is Kishito. I'm so excited! You know what we're doing today? We are making Asian snacks that have went absolutely viral. The first one is the one that inspired this whole video because I was like, all right, shut up, stop talking to me. I'm making this right now. First, let's watch it. Every so often, something really weird goes super viral, like the garlic that had Sri Rasha and chili peppers on it. This has had that same type of phenomenon. What are you, oh, that looks comfortable. Oh, look at him. Emily Mariko, what does she do here? She takes out some fish, she crushes her down, makes a nice uh, fish slaw, takes some rice, puts an ice cube on top of the rice. I assume that this is stale leftover rice and she wants to like reinfuse it with water. That's just my, that's my guess. She puts a little parchment or wax paper on top, crushes it down, microwaves it. Okay, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> what the pop pop? What do you think, Shishuto? I got a little fish filet, little salmon filet, looks really disgusting. I uh, barely seasoned this fish just because I wanna taste this exactly as it is. This is eventually, watch out, that's really hot. This is eventually going to be like a salmon sushi bowl of sorts. Now I think this, it probably helps if you're using like a much drier fish. This is like fresh. <laughs> uh, Shishudo's <laughs> licking the air. He does that when something's looking extra delicious. So we have this, and now I'm gonna put some rice on top. True to the original recipe, this is next day rice. As you can see here, it's like kind of lost some of its, uh, some of its fluffiness, some of its bounce. Usually like this next day rice, it kind of like bunches up like this, but this is what makes fried rice so nice. So we're gonna put this here. I know it smells so good. I cooked an extra salmon filet if you want one. That looks gorgeous. I don't want there to be too much rice because I want to be able to taste the fish. He wants to taste the fish too. It's not for you, Bop Bop. Put these ice cubes on top. It's so weird. It's a lot of water. It is. It's supposed to like reinfuse the rice, but... Maybe just... Maybe just one? That much. My parchment paper is brown, which... I've never seen before, but... It's because it's compostable. Oh, it's because it's eco-friendly? Mm -hmm. How lovely. Okay, now we're gonna put this here. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Oh my God, okay. I assume so this, like this is placed on top so it can like catch the moisture. Now, can I put this in the microwave? So here's the thing. The rice looks really moist and like revamped. Like it's very, it's very moist. It's like very soft. The ice cube didn't melt, but somehow all of the rice got infused with the water. I don't, what kind of science is this? So we've achieved phase one On to phase two. I got the exact same mayo that she has, the Japanese QP mayo. This is different than like Cool Whip. Okay, it's a little bit thicker. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. This is the mayo that they put on sushi. It, as you can tell, it's like a little bit more yellow. And she also likes to put Sri Rasha here, make it a nice spicy dish. And then we're gonna take our fork and then just mix it together. It's rice, fish, and hot sauce and mayo. The thing that I find rather offensive about this is that Rice and salmon is one of my favorite meals of all time. So the fact that we're mixing it all is very offensive to me. Hopefully it tastes good. There has to be a, a stage where she puts soy sauce on here. Okay, so she takes the ice cube out too. And then she puts soy sauce. All right, one sec. She is liberal with her soy sauce. As a good girl is. I know, it smells so good. Like the dog's probably like crying right now. He's licking the air. This smells so good. It smells like, oh, like perfect rice, fish, and soy sauce. My favorite combo. My absolute favorite combo, but I don't like when they're mixed. So, kind of weird. This is sufficiently mixed. On to phase three. Man, she puts a lot of mayo. Okay, so mine is starting to look like hers. She then puts avocado, kimchi, 
and she takes some seaweed sheets and eats it like a little avocado fish sushi roll. It's very smart. First off, I would like to thank the original poster of this TikTok for actually making something viral that's real food. Look at this. Look how excited the dog is. Like this is real food. He never goes like this for healthy food. This isn't, this is low fat, whole wheat, whole grain. Like this is actual, this is some good food. This is something that I would eat any day of the week and I've never seen something that I would eat any day of the week go this viral. So I'm very happy for that. I have these roasted nori sheets. Because we're on the topic of sushi bowls, mine are wasabi flavored. If you like wasabi, these are really good. If you don't like wasabi, these are gonna be way too much for you. But let's give it a go. We're gonna take this nori sheet. Yummy. Put it on top here. I'm actually gonna take an avocado and then just try to scoop it. This isn't sushi rice, so it's like not as easy to hold. All right, here we go. Oh my God. This is sushi in a bowl. Oh, oh my God. God. We have to make him some. I feel bad. Some that he can eat. My only issue with this is I want to eat it with my hands because it's really hard for me to like get enough rice as I want. I'm eating it with a fork. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's so good, it's so good. This is one of the best things I've ever made and eaten on my channel. Mm. Probably because it's so similar to what I normally eat, but like the mayo and the sriracha like really takes it to the next level. Oh my god, okay. Uh, mm, 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 mm. I'm so so profoundly sorry. If you like salmon avocado rolls that are spicy, you have to make this. It takes five minutes. How long do you think that took me? You don't even have to season the fish when you bake it. You just put it in tin foil, a little olive oil, wrap it up and then bake it. And it's like done in 20 minutes. There's so much beauty to this dish. Ugh. Okay, we have to make the next one. I'm literally gonna spoil my dinner. So this next one is very exciting for me because it is a ramen topping. Something that I would never think to make, but Look how good it looks. My recent obsession has been making soy cured egg yolks. Three ingredients. So what you need is mirin, equal parts of soy sauce, and then you crack the egg yolks and put them in this, uh, this solution. And then you let them sit for about six hours. After that, you get like these buttery egg yolks that you can put on top of your ramens. I've made here an instant ramen. This is my favorite instant ramen of all time except I've made it without the soup. Instead, I'm gonna put tomatoes into it and then mix it so like the juice is kind of incorporated. Now my usual thing that I do here is I do butter, tomato, and pepper when I cook it dry like this. But for this, I'm gonna see if the egg yolk can substitute for the butter. Now, I, uh, I actually made this uh, egg yolk suspension last night. I was gonna make more just for the sake of the video, but it's equal parts of this and this, and I wasted so much soy sauce for this, so I don't wanna waste more. Now this looks uh, weird and scary and disgusting. Look at this. Good soup. Ooh. Okay, now this is what they're supposed to look like. These little jewel looking things. That's how it's supposed to look, okay? They just weren't flipped over. Now I'm gonna see if this serves as a good flavor enhancer. I'm gonna pop the yolk. Oh wow, this is like gel. Whatever, I'm gonna pop the yolk and stir her in. Now I put egg yolk on so much stuff. When I'm having hot pot, I like crack yolks into a bowl and I like dip my meat in the egg yolk. So hopefully this is as good. Let's see. There's like that glistening yellow yolk on each noodle now. That is so good! Why do we eat anything other than Asian foods ever? I'm gonna get like just a little piece of yolk so I can see what it tastes like. <laughs> it's better than butter. This combination of flavors is the best umami bomb I've ever had. I think I might actually like this better than caviar. Mm -hmm. And I hate having caviar unless it's my birthday, because it's so expensive. But this, I think it's better. Mm. Oh my, oh! 
we have the savory like broth base, the powder, the seasoning. And then we have a bit of acidity from the tomato. And then we have the creamiest, we've got like the creamy element. These egg yolks, you can put them on anything. And I, I'm, I'm taking it back. I'm gonna flip them over. Oh my gosh, these are genius. Wild E Coyote, genius. Dang! It's time to move on to dessert. Ice cream sniff. Yeah, it's the ice cream sniff. It's dessert time! We are about to make two ingredient mochi, which is very exciting for me. We have some green tea ice cream that we melted down here, and I'm gonna pour it in this thingy. Hopefully it fills it up all the way. This is one third of a cup. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's actually perfect. Kartha Gewurt is a genius. An absolute genius icon, potentially a legend. There's this ugly girl that I've been hanging out with lately named Gloom and she is just nowhere near as cool as me. And she thinks she is. He's licking the table. He's licking the air. He's licking the table. He has never smelled. He doesn't go this hard for Western foods, like Western flavors. Like it's the rice, it's the fish, it's the soy sauce, it's the matcha, like it's that kind of stuff that drives this dog wild. I just gave him some fish. Like I made two fillets, gave him one of them and he's just getting so greedy. Okay, now half a cup of glutinous rice flour. I'm actually gonna do it over here so I can make a mess. Pour it in here. I'm gonna stir it while I do it, just cause mom always taught me to, actually there's so much, screw it, just put it in. Sometimes you gotta ignore what mama told you. Okay, it's starting to come together. Although I feel like mine's a bit too dry. Cause matcha's supposed to be very sticky. Should I get you more ice cream? Yeah. We might have to start again, but moshi is supposed to be sticky. So we just have to kind of keep slowly adding fluid until it's just this little sticky thing at the bottom. And this will get your arms pumped up good. Okay, this looks a lot more accurate. Okay, this is better. This is what it's supposed to look like. It took way more ice cream than I thought, but I think the issue is, is that I didn't use like authentic Japanese ice cream. I used like Haagen-Dazs. So it's probably a lot of like filler in this maybe that makes it work less, but now we're supposed to cover it for 30 seconds and wait. You actually weren't supposed to cover it for 30 seconds and let it rest. Um, I'm supposed to microwave it right now for two minutes and then stir. It's been microwaved for two minutes. Gotta give it a stir. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? That's not stirring at all. It almost seems like there's still too much flour. Yo, this is the worst thing ever. You can't even, oh God. Gonna microwave it for 30 more seconds. <laughs> this is not it. I've just made like a green tea loaf. But I've, I noticed and me and Terry were talking about how in that one girl's TikTok, she used an ice cream bar. So like maybe the consistency of that ice cream is different. Like ours is just like very like milky. Like you know how ice cream bars or like ice cream in a tub tastes different than that like, I guess that Briars ice cream, which is a lot more creamy. The other issue too is like, I'm afraid to touch it. I'm supposed to like roll it into balls right now and I'm scared. It's pretty steamy. Yeah, it's hot. Like you can tell this is like a thousand degrees. Two minutes in the microwave is what it takes to get a cup of water boiling. Like it gets it to like the lowest point of a boil. So yeah, I'm really afraid to touch this. It's hot. Oily hands. Every so often when you're cooking in the kitchen, you gotta get oily claws. Ah, it's so hot. Die. Oh, owie. This isn't rolling into mochi. It's not that perfect, round, smooth. Hey, that. Yeah, this is uh, not it. This is a disaster. He feels sorry for me. He's trying to like save face for me right now because this is not mochi. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna call this one a fail. We're gonna, ugh, ugh, ugh. We're calling this one a fail, but um, the other two were fantastic. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please check out the creators who made these wonderful TikToks. I think I just did the mochi raw. Do not blame that creator. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Greasy way. Yeah, a greasy goodbye. <laughs>